So which is scarier, global warming or climate change? Yeah, that wasn't really a competition, but Yale did some science on it anyway. Hello everyone, Trace here from DNews reporting on sciencey stuff for you. When I hear global warming, I think of the 90s and environmentalism. When I hear climate change, I think science and practical thinking and policy. And it turns out that I'm not too far off. A new study out of Yale looked at just the phrases global warming and climate change to determine what they mean and which one makes people more afraid. Climate change is 20 years older than global warming, though Google's Ngram say they've both hit pretty meteoric popularity since the 1980s. According to Yale's research, though, they're interpreted completely differently by different parts of American society. Global warming is the increase in the Earth's temperature since the Industrial Revolution because of greenhouse gas emissions due to changing land use and the burning of fossil fuels. Climate change is the long-term changes to the whole planet's climate, including wind patterns, temperature, rain, and snowfall distribution, and so on. Regardless of which is more correct, the study found Americans respond more viscerally to global warming and not to climate change. When you hear global warming, what do you picture? According to Yale's survey of over 1,600 people, you probably envision extreme weather, melting ice caps, flooding, storms, and environmental catastrophes. But on the flip side, when I say climate change, you probably don't picture anything. You're probably all like, whatevs. Interesting, right? Scientists prefer climate change because it's more accurate. It's long-term, it's nuanced. Republicans prefer global warming because of the emotional connection. Funnily, though the internet conspiracy machine wails and cries, the survey says 63% of Americans know the climate is changing and equal numbers on all political fronts believe humans' activities are to blame. So there's that. But why do we not care when people say climate change? The study doesn't really say, but I'm thinking that it has to do with the story that global warming tells. Every good story needs a conflict, and the term global warming does a much better job at conjuring up images of destruction and mayhem. It's a much easier concept to grasp than the complicated phrase climate change. Perhaps that's why we prefer it, even though it's not entirely accurate. The journal Public Opinion Quarterly looked at the terms as well and found that Republicans under George W. Bush started using climate change because it was less emotionally investing. They didn't want you to get incensed. Then later, when the media started tying it to planetary catastrophes, they switched back. Now they wanted that emotional appeal of the phrase global warming to get people to start fighting scientific consensus. This is just another way that with a little bit of science, people can change your outlook look on a huge issue. But what do you think of it? Which is scarier? Which is better? And debate. There's an ample comments section below this video. Fill it up. You should subscribe as well for more videos every single day of the week. And if you think global warming is hot, then you should check out Katie Wayne and the latest episode of Fandom Beat, a show where she recaps a little pony show you might know, talks about K-pop, anime, and all sorts of things that make us fanatics. We cannot let our magic just go poof into mid-air. That would be stupid. We have to give our magic to you. Oh, I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. I don't get all the jokes, but she does fun voices, so I watch.